Hey guys, in this week's tip, we're going to build off the past few weeks and we're going to introduce you to an easy price adjustment tool. If you remember back, we looked at items that were either slow movers or had low margins. Now that we've identified those items, we want to make some adjustments to our pricing so that we can either move them out the door or properly associate a good price with the cost. So let's jump right in. I'm in a vanilla item cost view with one exception. I added my movement by date window here. To do that, I simply clicked on analysis, movement by date. Remember back to last week when we were looking at that low margin serial item? Well here it is again. We can still see that the regular price is much lower than the unit cost, so we want to go ahead and make some adjustments now. Now this tip is so complex, I'm going to go a little bit slower than normal here, just so I don't confuse you. To get into the price tool, all you really have to do is click on this dollar sign right here. With the price tool open, let's go ahead and run through some of the settings real quick. This top portion is intended to allow us to target where we want the changes to take place. For instance, if we have multiple stores or regions, we can affect that here in the targets area. And same with price levels. If we have multiple price levels for each item, we can adjust those right here. The left side of the tool tells us what costs we want to associate this change with if we have things like freight adders or other additional costs that go onto the cost from our vendors. The lower half here on the left is going to be the tool that we use to set the new price. The middle section here tells us what we are doing. We can set or change retail price, a temporary price, sale or in-store pricing, and we can also set up a batch here as well. Off to the right side is where we accept the changes that we're about ready to do. Okay, let's go ahead and adjust our pricing on this item. Our cost has been imported here, so we can take a look at that. We know on our existing pricing, we're losing money. So we want to make something like, say, 15% margin on this particular product. Notice what happens. I typed 15 in the margin column here, and the price was automatically calculated for us right here. Now we could go ahead and accept that change. All we simply have to do is say yes, right over here to the right-hand side. Before we do that, I want to show you one other quick tip right within this tool. It's the rounding feature right here in this little box. So the system has already created our new price here, $3.45, based on the previous input of margin requirement and the cost of the item. But let's say within our store, our pricing methodology is always to round up to the ninth cent. That's easy enough to do. Simply click in the round box here and hit 9, and you'll see that the price changes and adjusts itself up to $3.49. Now we're ready to go. All we have to do is come over here, select yes, we do want to change this item, and you'll see right in front of your eyes, the system will go ahead and update that price to $3.49 based off the activity that we just did. Based on our change, you can see our margin increased, so we're no longer selling at a negative margin. You can also see that our next price is going to be $3.49. The system is going to deploy that price out, and it will replace our previous price of $2.48. Well, that's it for this week's tip. Hopefully, we've shown you a quick and easy way to adjust pricing on the fly as dictated by situations within your own store. Until next time, have a great day.